Some Venezuelan migrants, including children, were found sick and malnourished at an busy port Kaituma in the northwest district of Region 1. It is unclear how long the people have settled in this remote area, but a team of officials found that they were in need of immediate attention. At the weekend, an outreach team visited the community, which is located some 10 minutes away from Port Kaituma, and assessed the needs of the children first and then the adults. It was found that there are an estimated 198 Venezuelan migrants, including dozens of children in the area, many of whom were found with similar illnesses on both days. These included imbatigo, which is a bacterial infection on the skin, upper respiratory infections, conjunctivitis, which is commonly called red eye, and mild diarrheal diseases. Minister of Health Dr. Frank Anthony, during his COVID-19 update on Monday, stated that while these migrants received some aid at the weekend, measures have been put in place to allow them to easily access health care at the Port Kaituma Hospital. Well, one of the things that would be happening now, since we have identified persons from the community who would liaison with the regional officials and the hospital directly, I think, if they have any medical challenges, that they will be able to sort them out very quickly. They don't have to wait on an intervention like this. They now have a systematic way, if they have any problems, that they can come to the Port Kaituma Hospital and get access to medical service. Dr. Anthony also said their limited access to clean water may be contributing to the prevalence of the disease and as such, jerry cans were provided to the people who have settled at Anabisi. These cans allowed for stored water to be filtered, allowing the migrants to access cleaner water. The health minister also noted that other health officials will be working with the migrants to help them identify areas to properly dispose of their garbage and to set up toilets for the safe removal of their waste products. This is being done to reduce the contaminants entering the river that they are using. These efforts add to those made to provide food supplies and mosquito nets to the people, and Dr. Anthony also revealed that other authorities are seeking to provide other forms of assistance. On Saturday, Minister of Human Services and Social Security Dr. Vinya Prasad said that further discussions are ongoing about what other avenues of support could be provided to this vulnerable group of people. What we will do is continually have the medical personnel go in and continue to work with the community. We have identified persons in the community who could liaise between the Ministry of Health as well as the community and from that kind of interaction we'll be able to provide as much as possible for people. People were very appreciative of our intervention and our input and the ministry of course will look at other areas, things like clothing and other support services. The newsroom understands that other aid could potentially include resettlement and or, or providing some sort of employment. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Fishani Ragabir.